Hi, I'm Deanne Roper, and I'm going to talk to you today about connecting research to practice. What, when, why, and how? Because of the nature of research, many students feel intimidated, and research is frequently seen as the class that you have to take and really has nothing to do with practice. However, that's quite the contrary. Research has everything to do with practice. If you are excited about the connection between research and practice, students will be too. Just as we integrate ethics, populations at risk, and social work values into each of our courses, we can integrate basic research concepts into not only our assignments, but our language. With the power of naturally weaving research language and concepts, you can indirectly encourage students to consider writing a thesis, which is really a hands-on experience of connecting research to practice. Why is it important to integrate and connect research to practice? The skills needed to understand a good research article include critical thinking. These thinking skills help social workers to be better clinicians, make better ethical decisions, and also help them to understand the foundation of their knowledge in addition to the, basic, the basics of evidence-based practice. By narrowing the divide between practice and research, we create a highly educated and professional social worker workforce. So how do we do that? As you already know, assignments are a good method for helping students to learn to integrate their research knowledge. Create assignments like annotated bibliographies, but also challenge them to find professional research that doesn't support their current viewpoint or their thesis. This ensures that they already know how to interpret what they're reading. And another way to connect research to practice, use terms that are specific to research concepts during your lectures and discussions. For example, if you're teaching about a direct practice assessment, remind students about inner rate of reliability and how important it is that they conduct their assessment according to the directions of the author. Ask about causal relationships between concepts and variables that they discuss. When discussing bias or social work values, ask about how that would look if they were able to develop that concept into a research project or proposal. Remind them that a treatment intervention is actually, could be an independent variable in a study. The key is to integrate the terms and concepts into your own language whenever possible. So inquiring minds wanna know. Integrating research concepts and language into your classroom will likely get students excited about exploring problems. Encourage them to write a master's thesis project. This is a fantastic way for students to contribute to the field, their own knowledge base, and the UTA School of Social Work. 